Could you tell us a bit about you, the city of Drancy, and uh, what is your vision of a smart city? Our vision for, for smart city is how to make things better for the citizens, of course, and for us, the administration. Like, how can we have the maximum of data uh, to help us manage the city, save money, and help our citizens to have a better life in Drancy? Uh, last time I was in Drancy, you showed me how the city of Drancy deployed its private LoRaWAN network using AWS IoTGOR for LoRaWAN. You showed me uh, the gateways and the different sensors that your team has deployed. And the, the first use case I wanted to discuss uh, with you uh, is the indoor air quality monitoring solution that you have deployed in the schools. I have to say I was a little bit afraid about how, how complex it should be, but it's super easy actually. Uh, it takes like literally five minutes to register a gateway and, and make it work. And it takes literally 10 seconds to, to register a device and, and, and make it connected to the Aura One network. So for example, we have uh, a quick site uh, in AWS to have reports uh, about the temperature in the school and the CO2 levels and that we can share with, with teachers and whoever is concerned about, about this. And we also deployed um, an app on iPhone and iPad uh, for our administration, for our technicians to check exactly the temperature in the classroom and be sure that there is no incident. If, for example, is the classroom temperature is rising down. Is it a window that's still open or is it like a, a failure in the heat system? Or whatever. You also build a solution that helps the, the deliveries. You can open remotely the, the gate. So basically, uh, the guard of the school can, from this iPhone, check who is ringing uh, to enter. Is it a meal delivery? Is it something else? And I can open the proper uh, door uh, for the delivery, for example. And also, we have electric uh, power station uh, for, for EV, for electric vehicle in schools. And we can open also the door uh, automatically, remotely from iPhone, even my my watch, uh, my Apple watch to open doors for, for, for to charge the electric vehicles. When I came last time, you also showed me the LoRaWAN parking lot sensors that you have deployed in the streets. The, my question is, how do you use the data coming from these parking lot sensors? Uh, so we put sensors on these on this spots across the city. And once someone is parking on this spot, then the police station has the uh, information in real time. And then they can send someone to check if there is someone who is you know legitimately parking here the the bonus thing for for citizen is that we are releasing an app on iphone and ipad so they have in real time the free parking spots so for disability people and and for regular people to to just be able to you know to park everywhere before leaving do you have something to share or some tips to give to territories that are willing to implement these uh, kinds of use cases the first thing for me is the the ease of doing it like, don't be afraid, don't think it's complicated uh, because seriously, it's very, very easy to deploy your own our network, to deploy your own sensors and then mm -hmm. to gather the data. The thing is, once you have the data, the beauty of it is you can mm -hmm. do whatever with it. So you can share it to people, you can share it in your administration because you have some concern about things. So seriously, yeah, the, the, the value of it is unbelievable. Uh, thank you again, David. That was uh, very useful.